Google Plus sign in. And as many of you know, that lets people sign into your app with their existing Google credentials so that you don't have to create a new account namespace and users don't have to remember uh, yet another password. Uh, today we're expanding that capability by introducing cross-platform single sign-on. It's really exciting. I'm going to show you that right now. Um, so Jay is here in the uh, fancy website. He's on his computer. Um, he has not created an, a fancy account, but he is signed into Google. Uh, and when he tries to fancy, um, let's say, this uh, margarita maker, uh, he's prompted to create an account. He's going to choose uh, Google Plus as his sign-in method here. Now here's the interesting part. He's getting an option to automatically install the fancy app on his Android tablet. That's pretty cool because now he doesn't have to remember to go find it and install it later. It just does it all for him. So he's fancied um, his uh, mixed drink machine here. Now let's sw switch over to his tablet and take a look. Now Jay should have gotten the notification, there it is, uh, that says the app was automatically installed on his tablet. This actually just happened. And we, thank you. And when he opens uh, the app here, because he's already signed in on the Fancy website, he's automatically logged into the Fancy on his Android tablet. Isn't that cool? So if he goes to my, the My Collection section, which shows things that he's fancied before, there it is. That's your margarita machine, Jay. That's pretty cool. So that's cross-platform single sign-on in action. All right. So let's keep going uh, with Google Play services. Um, last year at I.O., we announced Google Cloud Messaging, or GCM for short. Um, GCM is a service that's managed by Google that lets you seamlessly push data from your servers to your Android apps. Um, GCM was super well received by the entire developer community. 60% of the top 100 apps in Play Store today are using GCM. We're delivering 200,000 GCM push messages every second. That's 17 billion messages a day. And what's thank you. And what's even What's even more impressive is the average server-to-server server, server server latency. That's 60 milliseconds, which is actually 30% faster than when we launched the service just a year ago. Um, so the news here today is that GCM is now part of Google Play services, and we're announcing three major new features as part of a major upgrade. So first, GCM now supports persistent connections between your servers and Google. With a persistent connection, you can send a large number of messages to many, many devices very quickly. Thank you. Second, uh, we're launching one of the GCM features that you have requested the most. And I think you'll like this. Upstream messaging. There you go. You can now use GCM to send data in the other direction as well, so from your app to your servers just as seamlessly. Uh, GCM, of course, does all the client-side connection management for you. It automatically retries uh, if the network isn't up, and so on. So it really helps to keep battery and data usage as minimal as possible. Third, and I'm sure you'll love this one too, uh, we're launching another GCM API that synchronizes notifications for you. So that when you dismiss a notification on one device, there you go. So that same notification goes away uh, on the other device as well. And you'll see more about this here today. Uh, all of the three new major DCM features you saw are rolling out progressively. And all you have to do is sign up, uh, to, and you can do that starting today. So to summarize, this is where we are right now. These are the Google Play services we've covered already. Uh, the Maps API, uh, the, the new location APIs, Google Plus sign-in with cross-platform single sign-on and GCM with upstream messaging and synchronized notifications. Now we're going to cover one more service, a major one that we're adding today. So let's talk about gaming. 